Today's tale begins, and I'd like to talk about hiring. So with hiring, uh, so you've got a few things here that you want to look at. Mainly the kind of gear that they come with. You can see it in the picture, so this guy's coming with a shield and possibly a short sword. A dagger, uh, a leather cap, you know, these kind of things. They affect uh, how much someone will be worth. The other thing you want to look at is their background. So here we have a Kevin Hand, Car Kevin Hand, Caravan Hand. You can see that when you roll after hiring him, you'll come with a uh, higher max fatigue, which is good depending on what roles you need to feel, fill. Uh, down here we have a uh, retired soldier. Here's a uh, high resolve, high melee skill, high melee defense, high range defense, but he has lower hit points and lower max fatigue. So if you're looking for maybe someone to fill your front lines here, you needn't mind spending a fair bit of coin, then old Wendell here would fit the bill. But uh, some of the things I like to look for when I'm starting out. So I like to look for uh, things like apprentices for experience gain. Uh, somewhere in here we had a farmer. Here we go, farmhand. These are one of the better players. So they have uh, high hit points, high max fatigue. So there's less things for you to have to max out. See, so day traders, not so great. Uh, militia, it's not really worth it. You get in the, the two levels here, but mostly you're paying for his sword here. I wouldn't really look to hire him. Probably wouldn't really look to hire this guy either. You're getting the three levels, but uh, the price is pretty high. I like to look for things you know, like, uh, I'd probably take the caravan hand here for uh, the high max fatigue and so on. So once you've hired someone, how do you know if you've got a dud or not? Well, they'll come over onto the uh, placement screen here and you're looking for a couple of things. So I'll go over what a character comes with. He has obviously his head armor, which is uh, represented by whatever you've put in the head. Could be nothing. Uh, at which point he takes it to the head. He's probably a little stuffed. You have the uh, body armor, once again. It's basically what your body armor is. So here I have a basic male shirt. We can say he gets 110. We have the uh, hit points. This is basically how much you can take before he's uh, cocked it, really. Hits the ground. His action points. Obviously, the action points he can take a turn. His fatigue. So, um, if you look here, if we take off uh, all of his gear here, you can see his fatigue is actually a lot higher. Let's uh, take all this off. And what happens is each thing you're adding to him drag that fatigue down Ooh. come on mr. shield on you go to give you what he's actually gonna start out the battle with and uh, what he's got to use so obviously each time you do something in battle or each time you move it takes up a bit of a uh, bit of fatigue here and uh, when he gets to a certain point he's not gonna be able to do much have his uh, morale which is uh, how he'll start in the battle. So old old mere here. He's gonna start the battle steady. Pretty sure I've got some Lucy cannons here somewhere. No. Hmm. Alright. Never fear. Some of them will uh, start a bit lower than that. Uh, as a result, it's uh, basically how much he's likely to uh, stress out and run. It's a bit lower. Let's see if we've got anyone here. Uh, you, sir? You, sir, have uh, not much resolve, so should things uh, turn badly, old Winrich here will most likely be one of the first to flee. We have the initiative. So, uh, basically, when in battle they're going to go. As you can see, initiative is also affected by... The armor, so the heavier the armor you're wearing, 
the uh, later they're basically going to go in the turn. So if you're fighting lightly armed raiders, they will all get to go well before you. Old Eldmere hit. Uh, he will receive the charge first. Which is, uh, it can be quite handy because raiders will run up to you. And uh, they'll generally close the line. And you'll just be standing around ready to hit. We have the melee skill. So it basically determines how well he's going to hit someone. So 64. This, uh, this represents a few levels. Normally they start out a bit crummier than that. A bit crummier indeed. But uh, he has 64% chance to hit. And then you get pluses or minuses. So if he was hitting into someone who had uh, a higher melee defense, then this basically gets pushed down lower and lower. But you also got to remember that things like... Uh, so my spear here has a uh, thrust, which gives him 20% chance to hit. It's a good uh, starting weapon here, as it allows him to hit, even if uh, things are not looking good for him. We then have his ranged skill. So if we look over here at, at mine off. He has a quite high range skill, 67, meaning uh, he's basically got 67% chance to hit. And then you get a few minuses based on distance he is from the target and uh, any cover they've got. Moving on, we can see Aldmir here. He has a, uh, he has a shield, which has given him quite a high melee defense. Well, high It's probably the uh, operative word. Since uh, if we look at people like uh, Tostig here, with his specialized shield, he has 51%. Uh, so basically, the enemy will have their hit skill, and they'll be minus 51% on top of that to hit him. Same with the uh, ranged defense. So anyone shooting at him will have their own ranged skill. But when they shoot at Tostig, they will be uh, minus the ranged defense to hit him. Giving him quite a good chance to uh, to survive here. Damage is uh, basically what he's going to inflict to someone else. So you can, on a low roll, hit 35. On a high, 55. His effectiveness versus armor. So basically, uh, if he does... Well, normally when you first roll up against an opponent, you'll be hitting their armor. So he'll do 110% damage to armor, which is okay. But... Uh, Got someone else who's a bit better here. Ah, uh, here we go. The old bill hook. Evan old. Evan old rams his uh, bill hook into someone. He'll destroy 150% of their uh, their armor. We have the uh, chance to hit ahead. So you can see he's got a 30% chance to hit when he swings his mighty uh, mighty hook. And the vision he can see, basically. Uh, how far he can see into the fog to see uh, what's coming in. What is coming in? You can see, remember these lads? Things that are uh, wrecking them are uh, uh, not your armor. Have you got some? Who's got some? Here we go. You gotta remember with armor, you gotta be careful here because it does take off uh, some of that view distance. Now, the other th key things to know if you're getting a dud when you're hiring someone. So if we look at things for front line, uh, you have to excuse my, my band here. They're fairly fresh, so I don't have the greatest of hirings. For front line, you're looking for things like melee skill. So one star basically means that uh, he's going to get slightly higher rolls than average on his uh, melee skills when you're leveling him up. Uh, so you can see he's got melee skills hit points, and resolve. This is not the greatest, not the worst. I uh, did find him in the old uh, apprentice there. He was, he was building away, trying to get things done. Ah, here we go. We got someone slightly better, old Walter. He, uh, he came in with uh, three stars to fatigue. Doesn't have anything to uh, melee skill, but he does have melee defense here. So every time he levels up, he's going to get a quite high roll. If I chose uh, Fatigue, he'll get a slightly higher roll on melee defense. And we have Initiative, which uh, 
Yeah, most people don't put much into that. Who else have we got? If we take a look at who sir is good. My squire? I did quite alright with Ortwin here, the swine. You can see he has a, a two star on the melee defense, two star on the hit points, and two star on the ranged. So he's going to come out alright after a few levels. He'll come out alright indeed. Who else? Who else, lads? Any of you other lads come out alright? None of them really came out alright. The other things you got to be careful of when you're hiring, so obviously we could see that Aldmir here was an apprentice with his 10% experience gain. But he also comes with a bleeder, which means uh, if he ever receives uh, bleed damage, he will bleed for an extra turn. You have to be careful with some of these. Let's have a look here. So, oh, that's a missing nose. He's uh, he's had a hard life in battle. He missed his nose. So he's determined. So this, uh, he'll start the uh, combat when he starts in combat. He'll start out confident, which gives him a few bonuses to uh, hitting. But he's gluttonous, so uh, he likes to eat a little more than the rest of the brothers. Obviously, Tostig was uh, was one of my starting companions. So here, the other Tostig, the fisherman. Uh, we should probably get replaced at some point, since uh, he doesn't really add much in the way of great skills. But uh, he's a craven, and that just means that he's going to have a little bit less resolve here, which means he could break a little bit earlier. It's not the greatest. Old pessimist Ortwin here. So although he was a squire, I hired him on for his, his reasonable... Uh, Millie skills here. He is a bit gluttonous and he's a pessimist, so uh, he does get a bit less on his resolve checks as well every time he has to roll for them. Luckily, he doesn't start low, but uh, should he start taking checks, he will uh, he'll start to run a little earlier. Bizjan, the homeless, he was he's actually a good one. Bizjan, I quite like him. He uh, starts off with the higher fatigue. Because he's a vagabond. So he means he's, uh, he's been doing a lot of walking. A lot of walking, my friend. But he, uh, he has sure footing. Which gives him a good bit of defense here. You know, plus five. It's basically a, uh, it's a third of a shield. And also, he's a survivor. So uh, if, he, uh, if he gets struck down, he ain't going to die. He's coming back. He's coming back. Uh, Milnoff is uh, another one of my originals. We have a tailor. So the other thing that you've got to look out for when you're picking uh, people to hire is some of these people will give you interesting mini mini events. So should I be carrying any wolf pelts? I may uh, I may get the uh, tailor event where he sews together some niceness for me, some nice armor. Bernard here, he's, he's brave, so says what it says on the can. Basically gives him a bit more to the defense. <laughs> Winrich, he's my latest hire. He's the bastard. Uh, so he comes with a nice bit of melee skill, which is good. He unfortunately is gluttonous, so my supplies are going to get a little hammered here. But uh, he's not so great on the range, so... He got given the old jagged pike here, just while I level him up a bit and find him some suitable armor so that he can go on the front line. He'll probably get leveled up a bit in melee defense. Uh, from the rest, hard to tell at this point. Uh, Ebenold. Ebenold is, uh, yeah, he's, he's one of my not so great of choices. So as you can see, Nice. He's got range skill. He's got range defense. He's got initiative, right? So, not the greatest. I've already filled the range spots at the moment. And then he comes as a craven. So, he has less resolve. And he starts wavering, which basically means he has a harder time hitting anything. So, uh, even old, 
he's probably going to get replaced at some point. In fact, I feel like uh, he may actually give up his his equipment to old uh, Winrich here. Lastly, we have, uh, well, we have our last two, Torsen. So uh, he's loyal. Basically, when we run out of money, he's going to be one of the last to leave. And uh, he's also got an iron jaw, so any injuries he gets basically means uh, he has a 25% chance less to really get those. He also is uh, taking a cut to the chest, which is why he's sitting back here, getting his uh, life together. So Lumberjacks are also one of the other better backgrounds to have, because you get high hit points, higher max fatigue. He didn't come with the greatest of uh, side skills, though, old Conrad, since he likes to eat a bit and starts off wavering. But, uh, you know, he's a, he's a filler. Well, we replace out the, uh, the rest of the units. And that's all for uh, hiring and firing. You can obviously fire people you don't want and try your luck at hiring someone new and maybe getting the best you can out of your Battle Brothers. Tune in next time for more adventures of the Raven Company. Hey guys, thanks again for watching. If you like what you've seen, hit that subscribe button or leave me a comment on anything you want to see in the future.